I'm just here. My name is Thomas Waite. Um, we talk about a couple of uh, events that took place in my life. I like to call them tie rope, tie rope experiences. I don't know if any of you have heard the song Tie Rope before. I really like the, the rendition um, given by Leon Russell. It's an old song, classic song. Um, the song depicts a tie rope walker going across, making his way from one side to the other, trying to avoid falling off, of course. He's surrounded by um, what I would consider some of the constant opposing forces in life. For example, there's, there's um, heat and ice, there's hope, and um, there's, um, excuse me, uh, there's ice and fire, there's hate and hope, life and death. Um, and I think that through life we all go through similar experiences where it's, you know, negative part on one side, positive on the other. Um, my first tightrope experience took place early one morning. I uh, don't know how early. It was dark outside. I woke up to look across the room to see my dresser's on fire. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my dresser's on fire. <laughs> and so the way, the way it's situated, here's, here's, um, I say, here's my bed here, and here's the door, and here's the dresser. So I've got to get pretty close to that dresser before making it out the door. And so I, I'm sleeping in my underoos, and so I, I reach in there, grab a pair of pants, and I fall out the door. Um, it was interesting because I looked to find my parents had bypassed my room in their search for the source of the smoke without wanting to disturb my sleep and wake me up. Um, <laughs> that was pretty significant. Talking to the firemen, I discovered that there was a good chance the carbon dioxide or monoxide uh, would have uh, kept me in a deeper sleep and I could have been burned, whatever, suffocated. Um, that was pretty scary. The second one took place, the second tight rope experience took place when I was on my mission for my church. Um, in the, the small area I was serving in, it's called a district, we would meet every week and have mission meetings, so we talked to the other missionaries and, that are working in that area. Uh, the only missionary, um, there, was a, there was a truck in our, in, our, in our district, and so they would pick everybody up for the meeting. Two of us had to rotate out of the bed of the truck. There was a camper shell in the state of Washington where I was serving. The, the laws are a little different. If every seat in the cab is taken, um, it is legal to ride in the bed of the truck. However, that's against one of our mission rules, to ride in the seat without a safety belt. And so, reluctantly, I went, okay, I'll go through rotation, we'll get in. Uh, one day, we're coming back from this meeting, we come to an intersection, controlled by stop signs all around. It was a residential area, and we start going through. When this driver is coming going like, they estimated 60 or 80 miles an hour, sees us, tries to hit the brake, T-bones the truck. Since me and the other guy who were in the bed, flying straight out, um, I sustained a skull fracture, they didn't expect that I would make it through that night, or if I did make it, it was anticipated that uh, I would need 24-hour care, I wouldn't be able to, to recover or anything like that. Anyways, um, as miraculous as it was, eight months later I was able to return the mission, however, um, continuing to heal my brain, was still rerouting all the information and neurons and such were getting back into place. Um, the, the things I've learned from these two experiences was that sometimes there's nothing we can do about what happens to our life. Um, for example, in the fire, there's nothing I could have done about that. If I died, I would have died, whatever. Um, so that would have tipped me off the type rope. Other times, though, yeah, I could have stuck to my gut and gone with you know, insisting on using a safety belt or, or, or walking, whatever, getting another ride to the meeting instead of putting myself in the truck. Um, so anyways, uh, experience time in the life um, is better staying up on the type rope, and there's things that we can do to keep up there. Um, and that's what I learned. Thanks.